Hello, my dear friends. This is David. Checking in today for my fellow brothers and sisters still caught up in the struggle, addictions and beyond. So here I am today with one message. Do not be ashamed of yourself. Do not be ashamed of your weakness, of your addiction, of your struggle, of your torment. None of us woke up one day and decided we're going to be addicts and destroy our lives, die. and spread our disease. I want you to know that, well, sorry, I'm allergic to wasps and they're here, so I'm gonna go for a walk. <laughs> so, you've got to lose that shame. My friends, there is no shame. There is no stigma. Stand proud. Like I have been an open book. I've opened myself up to all of you. And it is a hard thing to do. You may lose friends along the way. People may lose faith in you. May judge you without even getting to know you. Just based on a simple fact that you are or were an addict. So... I always check in first. I am at 36 milligrams of methadose and two milligrams of clonazepam. And um, I'm still smoking a little bit. Being myself today, completely open, no shame. In a week, I'm going back to check in in my rehab and I'm going down yet again, well, 32 milligrams. Taking it easy, slow, and as suggested by the professionals. Also, if you want to stay healthy through these crises, COVID or whatnot, we have to start thinking for ourselves. The doctors, most of them, as you know, are there to push the pharmaceutical agenda and to push drugs, pharmaceutical drugs, which are very, very, very addictive and um, have a huge tendency to destroy one's life, and very often they do so. So... You should, for yourself, think and take potassium, magnesium, and vitamin D all on your own. Vitamin D3, calcium, put, put that calcium back in your body. Think for yourself. Don't depend on the doctors for those simple matters that we should know now. Magnesium. Potassium, vitamin D, vitamin D3, vitamin C. Put in your body daily and you will be a lot better. So the shame, lose the shame, stand proud. Tell your story. And once you tell your story, you will feel a sense of relief. The shame will slowly dissolve. I'm not ashamed. I'm not afraid. I'm sharing my life story with a lot of people who actually may be caught by surprise. They had never expected me to be the one struggling, but for the last quarter century, I have been struggling with the opiate addiction. But almost eight years ago, I went to rehab, stopped using, 
and now I am in the process of tapering off completely from the meds that are part of the rehabilitation program. So I used to be at 100 milligrams, now I'm in the 30s. Um, used to be on 4 or 5 on clonazepam, now I'm at 2, below 2. And I am applying simple health aspects in my, to my life, like taking potassium, magnesium, vitamin D, D3, C, on my own, because we need to think for ourselves these days. Lose the shame. Do not be afraid. That's what's going to make you succeed. We have to stop hiding in the shadows. Stop being the hungry ghost. Take your life back. You deserve it. Every single one of you. And please keep messaging me. And I've provided my phone and email already to people who have commented and asked me for help. There has been a few in the last few years that have kept in touch with me and we have overcome their problems and struggles. Now we contact each other with happiness <laughs> and wisdom. And uh, they are now trying to help others along with me. So keep commenting and I will give you my number and my email and I will help you succeed or at least to put you on the right path. One love, everybody. Lose that shame. Stand proud and be strong. And uh, as for the government, be patient. It's happening. Just hold that line. <laughs>